Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm Platter Produce here. As I've been for the while, I work over there, try food and drink items. I do stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious crap because at the end of the day, I'm gonna be eating it, slash drinking it, what have you. So, I, me more than anybody, I really hope this is delicious. It's like me and then like maybe the ad agencies and the companies who put these things together. Similar level, I would think. You know, they're, they're risking, you know, millions of dollars and me, I'm, you know, risking my palate not enjoying something. But anyway, while I do that, I got a Pure Can Thunderbolt poster over there, some Marvel figures up there, there's a crappy old ladder off to the side, and wearing a cool shirt. When I wear a cool shirt, folks, I like to go over there and I like to promote the cool shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! We're rocking the John Carpenter's The Thing shirt. Why are we rocking the John Carpenter's The Thing shirt, Brandon? Well, for one, John Carpenter's The Thing is amazing. If you've never seen it, do so. Unless you're not into horror films and such. You know, that's, that's your prerogative. It, interesting, fun story. And I might have even told this in like a very old uh, sampler platter video. Uh, I've got a cousin on my mom's side. Hi, Katrina, if you happen to watch this. Um, but yeah, we, uh, she's a year older than me and we went over there, we grew up, you know, not super duper close, you know, cause you know, she was kind of doing her thing on her side of the family, but, but whenever we got together, it was always a great time. And we would go over there, we would be allowed to go to Blockbuster. Oh, I miss Blockbuster. We'd go to Blockbuster, we were each allowed to rent a movie. I would always rent a horror movie and I would always make her sit and watch the movie with me. But she got me back later on. When we got to like our like very early teenage years, she got super into the movie Dirty Dancing and she bought it on VHS. And she was like, oh no, you're going to watch this with me all the time. And I was like, <laughs> I don't care about baby being put in the corner. Oh God. Patrick Swayze's cool though. But anyway, uh, the main reason why I'm doing this is because it's a spooky movie. Spooky movies tie in with what particular holiday? Halloween. I know you were thinking Easter. Yeah, I mean, that rabbit's terrifying. But we're going to stick with Halloween for this one. And Halloween kind of ties in with what I'm going to be trying. So what am I going to be trying for y'all folks? Boom! <laughs> yes, need folks. It is Mountain Dew, Boo Dew, Zero Sugar, Mystery Flavor. If you're not familiar with uh, Mountain Dew Voodoo, this is, the, this is the normal stuff with the sugar and such. I did a review for this before this one, so go watch that one if you're more interested in that. Um, yeah, so for the last four years, Mountain Dew has gone over there. They've done a like Halloween tie-in, you know, Mountain Dew flavor. Every year, it's a new flavor, uh, but they don't tell you what it is. And it's a thing. It's like, oh boy, it's, it, and it's fun, and there's merriment to be had. For me in particular, it's kind of a nice thing because when I did it last year, for whatever reason, that video took off a little bit. You know, by my channel standards, anyway. So I went over there and got some views. Not, not, it didn't go viral, but got a few views. So I knew when they went over there and came out the new one, I was going to do it anyway, but of course, you know, going to put a little extra pizzazz on it. Wear a cool shirt that ties in with it. Now, the thing is, I was just planning to do the normal one. I wasn't expecting a zero sugar, but I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it's just, like, shipping supplies or some shit. But, like, a lot of uh, companies are, like, big on the zero sugar stuff. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just not typically into the zero sugar stuff. I should be. <laughs> but... It's just not my bag, usually. You know, it's not... You know, that said, I'm going to go into this with a positive attitude, and hopefully it'll be delicious. We're about to find out, folks. We're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. Now, I already have a theory about what the flavor, the mystery flavor is. I explained so in my previous review. We'll see how the zero sugar version affects my theory, if at all. Mm. 
Well, okay. Mixed feelings. Um, I'll say this. If I'd started with this, I would not have been able to guess the mystery flavor that I guessed uh, with the original one, which I'll, I'll, I'll give that one up in just a little bit, okay? Let me build, folks. Tension builder, okay? Think back to Jaws, right? That movie's amazing. Why? Because you see the shark for like a total of 10 minutes a whole movie, but it's awesome. Um... Yeah, I, there is a semblance of what the actual sugar version has to offer in this, for sure. But the zero sugar aspect of it, it do, they do a better job of hiding the zero sugar aspect of it than some other sodas do. Some, it is just actively abrasive to me, like, to the extent where I find it unpalatable. With this... It's not too bad. Okay, whatever sweetener they've used or whatever, it does an okay job of hiding the zero sugar aspect. It's still there. It's just not as punch you in the face. Now, here's the problem, folks. With zero, the actual sugar stuff, I guessed that I feel that it's sweet tart flavored. Okay, because there was a sweetness to it, and then there was a tartness to it. My reasoning is infallible. The problem is, is that without the sugar, it's not as sweet as the uh, the actual sugar one. And one of the things that I highlighted and, you know, commended them on with the actual sugar one was that they did a good job of balancing the sweetness and the tartness. Without that in this, it's not as balanced, and it's more tart and ass-tasting. Yeah, it's just, it's basically just the tart aspect of that, and it's not anywhere near as good. It's, yeah, they managed to go over there and cover up most of the zero sugar taste, which, yeah, I'll give them credit for. But the fundamental problem is, is that then what you're left with is just this weird, mildly sweet soda that's just too tart. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one at all. Um, it falls in line with my many zero sugar attempts. I, I'm i not saying there aren't good zero sugar ones out there, okay? 100% there are. Can't think of any at the moment, but I know that there are. I know I've even done some on this, my channel. Um, the problem is, is that it's just, why? I, you know, and I'm not trying to be that guy. Like, I'm not going to go over there. You know, if you're into zero sugar stuff, good on you. Genuinely, I think that's great. But it's just ugh, to me. I just don't. Excuse me. For me, if I'm drinking a soda, I want to drink a soda. If I want to drink something that has lower zero sugar in it, maybe I'll drink some tea. Maybe I'll drink some water. Um, a great substitute. Olipop. Olipop sodas, they're very, very low sugar. Um, like, way, way less than uh, typical sodas. And they still taste really good. I don't... The zero sugar stuff for me just doesn't go. It just... No matter how much they try... I think the... Okay, so the only one I can think of off the top of my head uh, are two. Zero sugar Dr. Pepper and zero sugar a and W. Which I reviewed on this channel. Those were both pretty good. They did a good job of making the zero sugar work without diminishing too much of what the drink had to offer. This they tried. It was a valiant effort. Problem is, it still doesn't. It just doesn't taste very good. It doesn't taste very good for the reasons why I thought it was, but it for me it's just it's just not that good. So, whereas with the other one. I felt that it was a good mystery flavor, and, you know, I gave it reasonably high marks for what it is. With this one, I can't, like, I can't even rank it in, like, the rank of dues, because I don't really consider the Zero Sugar stuff to really be, like, in the proper Mountain Dew canon, okay? The Mountain Dew pantheon, if you will. All right, if Pitch Black is over there, 
and that's the Zeus of Mountain Dew flavors, which it is. Okay, let's get that straight right now. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, it fucks around and goes away. That's Zeus. That's what he does. Um, these ones, they're like, you know, they're like the offspring of like the thing that Zeus fucks. And then, you know, it's like you get like a half, you know, you get like a demigod, like half goat or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's there, it's a thing, but... Mm -hmm. So, that's kind of where the, the Zero Sugar stuff for me goes. So, I can't recommend it. But if you're into Zero Sugar stuff, you could do worse. I will give it that much. There are way worse Zero Sugars. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. You can go over there and have yourselves a truly actual sugar rest of your lives. Because... You know, aside from the diabetes and such. Uh, <laughs> live life full of flavor. That's what I'm going for. Very final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time, folks. Here's what you do. You try not to be an asshole. Okay, it's not always an easy thing to do. Some days you're over there and you're having a good old day and then you drink some wonky-ass freaking zero-sugar stuff. And it sours your mood a little bit. You know, now, am I going to go over there? Am I going to leave my house and, like, go over there, kick in my neighbor's windshield? No. No. Because, for one thing, that would be a gross overreaction of, you know, uh, you know, not even that terrible Mountain Dew. But on top of that, I don't, I don't want to go over there and make his life miserable. He's a decent guy. He does his thing. He's got dogs. People who have dogs are cool. Typically. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. What's the thing for me, folks? It's John Carpenter's The Thing. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I had to get that one in there. But, yeah, hey, folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try the Mountain Dew Voodoo Zero Sugar, and you're going to absolutely love it. And you're going to go over there, and you're going to write a well-worded response. You're going to... Go over there, you know, type it up in my comments. Brandon, I think you were a little too harsh, you know, maybe. You know, exaggerating a little bit too much with your dislike of the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. And, you know, this, that, and the other thing, and so on and so forth. Maybe quote a president or two in there. And I'll read your response. And a tear will come to my eye. And I still won't like this, but, you know, good on you. And then the very final thing, just, you know, you could go over there and do something way more productive with your time than that, too. Uh, they go out, you know what, be a history major. Because history is cool and I like history. Yay! Do things because I like them. <clears throat> Bye.